Hi, and welcome back to the Myriad Cloud tutorial video series. My name is Bella and I am here to guide you through getting the most from your Myriad Cloud system. In this video we will focus on one of the features that makes Myriad Cloud unique, the ability to host live and interactive shows with multiple presenters, all through a web browser. Broadcasting in this way is identical to the way most radio stations work in traditional radio studios, so not only will your listeners benefit from live, dynamic sounding shows but your presenters will learn valuable skills that are used across the radio industry. This feature is only available to Myriad Cloud Pro and Ultimate stations. If you are using Myriad Cloud Basic or Standard, then you can upgrade to Pro or higher at any time. Let's jump straight in. Log in to the broadcast.radio portal and head for the dashboard. In the Broadcasting section, click on the Broadcast Live button. This will open a new browser tab containing the Myriad Studio module. Log in using your Myriad Anywhere credentials if prompted. If you tick the Remember Me option you will not have to do this each time. The Myriad Cloud Studio module allows you to take real-time control over your Myriad Cloud broadcast. You can switch to live mode to present live and interactive shows on your radio station. In live mode, you can add stops to the end of songs and jingles in the log, which will cause Myriad Cloud to pause at the end of the item, so that you can present live voice links or manually play content. When you are ready, simply press the go button to start the next item. Let's take a look at how this works in practice. The first thing you need to do is click on the Connect to Audio button. This will connect your web browser to your station allowing you to hear the output of your radio station in real time and send live voice or other audio content from your local microphone or mixer directly to your station. When you click on the Connect to Audio button, a floating window will open, allowing you to select the audio input and output devices you want to use. If this is the first time you have used this device, you will also be asked to allow access to your microphone. Once you have selected the appropriate devices, click on Connect. Click on the Start button to connect the audio session. After a second or so, you will start to hear the station output in real time. Normally you would continue to monitor the station output throughout your live voice link, but we will mute it for now, so I can talk you through the next steps. There are two communications channels built into the system. The talk channel is used to talk to other presenters or guests who are also connected. Chat on the talk channel is not broadcast on your station. By contrast, if you switch to the live channel, your chat will be mixed into your station output for broadcasting live on air, in real time. You can switch between these channels using the live and talk buttons. Of course, regardless of which channel you are on, your microphone will not be live until you turn it on with the on-off button, or by using the fader. The main studio module interface also has controls to allow you to select the channel you want to use and toggle your microphone on and off. You can even duck the audio on the media players to allow you to easily talk over the music. Now let's take a quick look at how you can use these tools to present a live voice link on your station. The first thing we want to do is switch from auto fade mode to live mode. This allows us to add a pause to the end of the current item so that we can add a live voice link. Now that we are in live mode, we can toggle what happens at the end of items in the log from automatically moving on to the next item, represented by a green circle, to pausing at the end of the item, represented by a red square. This is called a chain type. To toggle the chain type, simply click on it in the log or the dashboard. Here we can see, the currently playing item is coming to the end, and the chain type is set to stop. This means that Myriad Cloud will pause at the end of the item, to allow us to switch on the microphone and present a live voice link. As before, click on the microphone on off button to toggle the microphone on and start your live voice link. When you are ready to start the next item, click on the go button. When you have finished speaking, 
Don't forget to turn your microphone off. Congratulations! You have just presented your first live voice link on your Myriad Cloud radio station. You can change the chain type to stop on other songs in your scheduled log to help you plan when you want to talk in your show. At the end of your show, switch back to auto fade mode for continuous playout. If the following hour was scheduled to be an auto fade hour, then this will happen automatically and there's no need to manually switch. When two or more presenters are connected to a live show, either presenter can use the pop up audio window to select chat channels and control microphone status and levels for all presenters and guests. Guests cannot control their own microphones, so presenters are always in control of when guests are on air. For more information on presenting live and interactive shows on Myriad Cloud, please visit our help portal on the link below, or check out our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and happy broadcasting!